everybody, Ricky Bobby, how's it going? Are you sick of this? API test kits for pH and say Red Sea, any of these kits and trying to figure out what your numbers are. Test this one, test this one. The numbers don't jive. And you have something like this at home and you wanna make sure, you don't wanna chase numbers, but you wanna make sure your numbers are all legit. So I've had enough of this. I've invested the next step in the hobby, as you saw from the thumbnail. Here we go, pH probes. So they're completely different than just taking a HANA salinity probe and dipping it in and rinsing with uh, RODI water. pH probes are completely different. They need a lot of attention. So here's what I recommend. First of all, the HANA. And when you first get it, by the way, there's a lot of things on the internet that are not very clear about buying this thing. I did a lot of research and I'm gonna pass it on to you. Before you use, soak the glass bulb in the storage solution for an hour. Well, guess what? This bad boy comes with pH cleaning solution. And it comes with four pH, seven pH uh, calibration solution times two. So they want you to, before you use it, use storage solution, doesn't come with it. So what I recommended after doing some research is you go on Amazon, no, I'm in Canada, and it's the Blue Lab Probe Care Kit. It's about 37 bucks Canadian. Now the HANA is 55. So you're looking at about 100 bucks with tax for this whole uh, kit and caboodle. So what's good about this Blue Lab Kit is you get storage solution, which is potassium chloride. You get two of them, I've already used one. And you get some calibration solution again, which is good in four and seven. So when we run out of the HANA, we got these. And then we also have probe cleaner. So two bottles of probe cleaner, a little brush, all that kind of stuff. Now, one thing that they told me to do with this bad boy is you have to soak it in the solution for an hour, which I did. And after you use it, you wanna soak it in storage solution after you clean it. So that's a big thing with these probes. Now this isn't a typical probe. I'll take this cover off here. So what you do with this guy, with the, with the HANA, is you put a couple drops of storage solution. So what I've got is I've got a bottle of it here. Here, this is one pack of storage solution. It's about 10 mil. Take a little syringe, like a one mil syringe you get from one of our test kits, and put a couple drops right in the end cap and push this bad boy in, and that will store it perfectly fine. So all you gotta do is push the button once and she fires up. Now, I don't know if you guys want me to do this, see if I can, okay. So we're gonna hold the button, keep holding it. So it says cow. Now it wants 7.01 solution. So here's 7.01 solution and we're gonna put it in there. Now, I just calibrated this yesterday because I got it yesterday. So this solution should be fine for pH. Should. So the hourglass is going to flash. Then when it's done, remember the first one it wants is 7. Okay. Now, it flashes 4. So, normally I would rinse it before I do this but this is just for the video. So now we're in the four solution. Same thing, it's gonna flash. Hannahs are so good when it comes to this kind of thing. So we have we have a two point calibration, which is better than one. So now it says stored. Same as the salinity pen. Rock and roll. Now we are ready. Let's come over to our tank. Gonna dump it in the back chamber. Oops, hold on. Let's put it right there. I just changed the uh, CO2 scrubber media yesterday. And it's crazy. It should be 7.9. It was, okay. Well, it was 7.9 two hours ago. But it is getting evening. So it's crazy. I was 7.6 pH yesterday with my media burned out. I have, I run, this tank tends to run low pH. Uh, there it is. So 7.8, which is not bad. Not great. I bought an Inkbird CO2 monitor, 408 PPM. Well, guess what? Outside's only 400. 
So 8 ppm is not enough to talk, cause this tank, in my opinion, to have a low pH. So when you're done with this bad boy, just push the button and it's off. And what you can do is you can take the cleaning solution, which comes in here, and you can put it in another little container and give it some dips. I'm not going to scrub this thing yet because it's brand new. And then when you're done doing that, you're going to put the rubber cap on with a couple dabs of stored solution and put it back back in there. So like I said, this was $100. Uh, the fact that you could just drop it in the tank and get an accurate reading, I love it. Uh, it's a Hanna, so I trust it. It's got two-point calibration. So anyway, guys, uh, just a quick video. There's not many out there on the Hanna. Uh, pH tester. If you want to look for it on Amazon, it's under Hannah pH tester. And uh, yeah, 55 bucks Canadian. And uh, yeah, you definitely want to get one of these kits here. It's good to have so you can clean the probe, so you can have extra calibration solution and uh, storage solution. And you can buy bottles of storage solution, but I mean, what the heck do you need a massive bottle of storage solution for? This little 10 mil thing here is going to last me a year because you're only putting two drops in this little uh, cover here. So that's what I recommend. And uh, it's a great product. And then hopefully everything works out. And uh, we never use these stupid things anymore. Hope you guys enjoyed.